Hello everybody, and welcome to a quick little tutorial that I'm going to do to show you how to get the actual emojis in your slots in your chat on YouTube. So, I know I had this problem early on, uh, having the actual emote show up when people played slots in my chat. It would just show up with sparkle, heart thing whatever and it's like wow well, what the heck is that you know and people it seems like if, even if people got three matches they wouldn't win so i'm going to show you how to fix that um what you're going to do is you're going to head on over to your your cloudbot dashboard here over on the website and you're going to want to click on modules and you're going to go to your slots and go to preferences Now, in your preferences, you have, you know, different settings you can change here for the minimum amount allowed to bet and the maximum amount allowed to bet. And then right here, you have emotes. Now, as you can see right now, these are the standard emotes that they have. Well, this is what's going to pop up on YouTube when um, people play the slots. Well, this doesn't work. So what we want to do is we just want to delete these. Just delete them all. You don't need them. They're no good. They're not going to work. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to add emotes. But here's the thing. Before you add emotes, you want to go over to this website right here. Emojicopy.com I'll put the link down in the description so that you can easily get to this. And from here, what you're gonna do is when you go to, you're, you're, you're gonna you're gonna click on the emote that you want. So let's go with, uh, smileys and people, there's animals. Let's go with, I don't have a moose. But we'll have to go with the bowl. So we right click. Right. Or, or we click on it. Sorry. It's been a little while since I did this. We just want the one. Click on it. Say copy. Now it's copied to our clipboard. Go over to our dashboard. And we say add an emote. And in here. Say paste. Oh. There we go. Don't mind me. Buttons. Paste. Say save. Now we got that little moose emoji in there. And then you do that for any of the emojis that you like to use. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with a joypad. Copy. Add emote. Paste. Save. Go back to the emoji copy. Find an emote that you wish to use. Uh, go with go with fire. Copy. Add emoji. Paste. Save. Now you can add as many different types of emojis in here as you want. Just for purposes of this video, I'll just do these three. So now what you want to do is you want to click on combos. Now in here, none of these combos will work because we got rid of them. Delete these combos. Now that those combos are deleted, we want to add a combo, and these are the emotes that we just added. So it's only going to use the emotes that you add. So in this case, we only have three possible emotes. So we'll leave this right here, the moose, 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 moose. Now the multiplier is based on 
if a person, you know, say plays 10 moose bucks, that's what the points are called on my channel, moose bucks, then let's say times 10 if they get that. Well, I actually, I'd probably go 100. Then they'd win like 10,000 moose bucks or something like that. Um, you can add more combos. You can change these up. So let's say three joy pads will go 500. You can add another combo. Go with the flames. Say three flames or 250. Save. Now, this being said, if people only get, they have to get all three in a row in order to win anything other than that, they win nothing. Which means if you want other variables, you have to add them. And that is the only tedious, that is the only tedious thing about this. Is adding the other variables. I didn't see that one go. Um, so let's go controller, controller, and let's say 100. Save. So there's that one right there that we just added. So, I mean, you can sit here and you can add as, as many different variables as you would like. Uh, on my channel, I added a couple different variables i mean that's a lot of work if you want to sit there and go through all those different variables but yeah some people do it to help their viewers get better chances uh and that is basically all you have to do to get the emojis to work where it comes up with the icons uh so if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask me down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them for you. Thank you very much and have a great day.